Unit 5. The Stolen Generations, an Australian Tragedy. Read about it. Sheila Humphreys is a successful artist and a mother of eight. She, now in her 70s, spends her days painting and telling stories about her life. Sheila had a miserable childhood because of a failed government policy that caused her family to live in poverty. Sheila was then taken to a children's home at the age of four because her parents believed she would have a better future there. Sheila, however, found her life at the children's home intolerable. She was made to do the laundry and a lot of housework. Sheila was sent back home again when she was eight, but was taken away by the police just three months later. Sheila then spent the rest of her childhood at the children's home. She was treated like a slave and was never educated at that time. Why did such a tragedy happen? The reason is that Sheila's family were indigenous Australians. If both of her parents had been white people, their lives would have been different. It was the government's racial policy that tore Sheila's family apart. In the early 1900s, the Australian government decided to separate indigenous children from their families. This policy was implemented to protect them and to keep Australia a pure white nation. Sadly, stories like Sheila's are common across Australia. Between 1909 and 1969, indigenous Australians were sent away to live in settlements, which were like prison camps. Thousands of mixed-race indigenous children, especially those with pale skin, were taken away from their parents. Some of them were adopted by white families, and the others were kept in institutions. None of them ever saw their parents again. These children are known as the Stolen Generations. They would receive severe punishments even for the slightest things, such as speaking their native languages. Besides, they were given jobs to do, some did labor, and some worked as servants. They were given a little food in exchange for a lot of tiring work. The children of the Stolen Generation suffered enormously. They felt ashamed to be indigenous people and had a low level of education. These children experienced physical, emotional, and sexual abuse. Many indigenous children became depressed or had mental problems, which continued into their adult lives. Some even committed suicide. These children were made to be separated from their beloved parents in this cultural disaster, which still has lingering impacts in Australian society today. The stolen generations represent human rights abuses on a scale that is beyond belief. They suffered from the discriminatory policy, which resulted in numerous tragic incidents as well as the loss of indigenous cultural knowledge. Unfortunately, unfair racial policies toward indigenous people were not unique to Australia. Modern researchers also found that First Nations children in Canada and Native American children in the United States had also been discriminated against and removed from their homes. If people hope the world becomes a better place, it is everyone's responsibility to ensure that people around the world can get fair treatment. Therefore, people must learn to respect one another, regardless of race or culture, and make sure no child has to go through what Sheila experienced all those years ago.